Hi friends, in this video, I will introduce my robot Earth Rover to you. I made this robot using Raspberry Pi's latest model 3A+. The robot can be controlled by a laptop or a mobile phone over Wi-Fi using a web application. I will describe the hardware components and the code in detail, but let's see the working robot first. These are the components I have used to build the robot. Let me describe them one by one. The heart of the robot is Raspberry Pi 3A+. I have used module MT3608 in my project. It is a DC to DC step up converter. It converts 5V DC input from battery bank to 12V DC output, which can be used to drive the DC motors. As a result, one battery bank can be used to power both Raspberry Pi and DC motors. To drive the DC motors, I have used L293D board. It is connected as per the diagram shown on the screen. The robot chassis with two DC motors installed. A battery bank to power up the whole setup. Now let's connect up as per diagram and test the setup. One port of the battery bank powers up the Raspberry Pi which requires 5 volt DC. The other port provides 5 volt DC input to MT3608 board. Now let's run the motor by toggling the respective GPIO pin through terminal. In order to minimize the wire clutter on top surface, I decided to install battery bank and L293D board underneath the chassis. On top surface, Raspberry Pi and DC converter board are installed. Generally, such projects are made with two batteries. One 5 volt battery for Raspberry Pi and other 12 volt battery for DC motors. Here, the use of DC to DC up converter allows us to achieve this using only one 5 volt battery thereby saving significant space. Now let's give some cool looks to earth rover with the shiny top cover. It is an acrylic board cut out as per the dimensions of robotic chassis. Fix it with nuts and bolts. Plug in Raspberry Pi's power cable. Plug in DC converter board cable. And press the push button. At this stage, Earth Rover is fully ready to accept and obey the command. Now using a laptop or a mobile phone, open up a browser and pull the web page from Raspberry Pi. Using these controls, we can control the direction and speed of our earth rover. The application is primarily developed in PHP. That means we need to have a web server running on the Pi. Let me take the remote of Raspberry Pi and show you the location of code. This folder named Earth Rover contains the code of our robot. Among all these files, remote.php is responsible for GUI creation. All other files run in background to achieve various controls. This is the code of our GUI. When we open this file in browser, we see this page with control buttons. 
these are created in the body section of this HTML page. This section deals with the direction buttons and this section deals with the speed buttons. Uh, we can ignore this section as of now, it is not being used. So on the click of uh, a direction button, a JavaScript function button direction is called and on click of a speed button, button speed is called. So both these functions are defined in the JavaScript file earthrover.js. And this is where button direction function is defined. It receives direction parameter and passes it to this function where the ejects call is made. Similarly, press of the speed button on GUI calls this function which updates the speed value on GUI first and then makes this ejects call. Also, this JavaScript file responds to the press of arrow buttons of keyboard in this section. Here again, direction function is called. So when the ejects call is made, the direction parameter is passed as a post parameter to this PHP file, which is named as ajax direction.php. So let's look at this file. This file receives the post parameter and passes to this function move where the direction gets executed. Now this move function is defined in this PHP file. So based on the direction parameter, the move function switches between these five functions where the motor control pins are set high and low to achieve the desired direction. Coming to speed control, there is an option of using Raspberry Pi's hardware based PWM, but that interferes with audio port, which I intend to use later. So I decided to go for software generated PWM. When speed control button is pressed on JOI, Ajax call is made to this PHP file. Here, the speed value is received as post parameter, which gets written to a text file pwm1.txt. After that, this Python script is launched. This Python script stops and starts another Python script that is generate pwm.py where software pwm is generated. In this Python file, pins 20 and 21 are set as output pins where PWM is generated for motor 1 and 2 respectively at 100 Hz. Initially, the duty cycle is set to 0 which is later changed after reading the value from the text file. The value of duty cycle can range between 0 and 100. So basically, every time the speed button is pressed, a jackspeed.php file writes the speed value to a text file. And then the same text file is read by this Python script to change the duty cycle value. So that was a brief overview of code, but I guess it should be enough for someone having little background of PHP and Python. You can download the entire code from the GitHub link provided in the description section below. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.